seven views, six views, five views. I need I need something that's popular. I need something that's gonna get me get me views. What 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 got me views in the past? We got only one command. Only one command. That's it. That's what we're gonna do. Welcome back to Only One Command. Hello everyone, Ferb here, and welcome back to Only One Command. It has been a while, guys, but Only One Command is finally back after like a year and two months or something. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm back. We're we're doing some more Only One Commands. So let's uh, let's begin. We're doing two commands today, both by the same person, and you can find the link to both of the commands in the description of the video. So. If you want, you can load up a Minecraft world on Snapshot 17W06A. Now, that is important any um, any sooner, and it doesn't work. I've tried the newest Snapshot, doesn't work, and any older, it doesn't work. So you have to do it uh, at the moment on 17W06A. So if you enjoy playing on that version, well, here you go. Okay, so what you guys are going to want to do to get started is head down to the first link down in the description, the one for the conveyor command um, thing. Yeah, do that one. And what we're going to do is, uh, I've got it loaded up, so we're going to do slash, um, we're going to do give, do, 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 and do a tab, and we'll bring up your name, and then tab again. we got Minecraft, C-O-M-M, -M, tab, and then enter. And you get your command block in game. Of course, you have to have commands on. I mean, I mean, you, like you have to have, you have to have cheats on. There's no way you're going to be able to place command blocks down and do stuff if you don't have cheats on. But yeah, we we we, we get we got that. So you're going to place down your command block, and you're going to go over to the link in the description that you have loaded up, and you're going to grab the command, and it should be just a pretty pretty long command. You're going to paste it in here. Now, the problem with these commands is for some reason the way the website that this person is using works is it throws a character back at the very start of your command. And if you just hold um if you just hold control and your left arrow, it'll just bring you all the way back to the start. It'll skip it'll skip over like a couple of characters as you can see. So that just gets you back to the start in a hurry. Um actually it didn't pull it through this time. Never mind. Never mind. I've had I've had times where some weird character shows up at the start here, uh, but I guess it's not here, so I don't know. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna select always active and done, and there you go. Pretty quickly, uh, you can see credit to Mr. Moose. So uh, yeah, again the link to the command block contraption will be down in the description, and what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go and you're gonna want to grab the purple. Terracotta block, I think, or is it pink? Ter the magenta terracotta block. That's what it is. The one with the arrows on it. Now, that's actually pretty cool because since this block has arrows on it, it makes a pretty cool way to get these conveyor blocks going. And you just place them down in the direction that you want them to go. And as you can see, you just move around. Just like that. So now, no more do you need to use water and flowing water to get mobs to move around. Because you can just go and you can grab... Uh, where would it be? And you can just make your mobs go around that way. I mean, mobs can walk off them still, sort of. But uh, that's actually this will actually keep mobs in it, it looks like. Because as soon as they hit one of these walls, they're just going to move over. I don't know. Maybe they can get out. I don't know. Whatever. Look at that. So mobs can move around on them. Uh, if you throw items down, any entity basically will will move around on them, which is pretty cool. I think even if we grab an armor stand, I believe armor stands count as entities and they should move too. Yeah, look at that. So now you've got yourself some pretty cool conveyor belt blocks to move stuff around in your world. Pretty dang cool. And see, even I'm moving around, you know, it's pretty, uh, it's a pretty, it's not super smooth, because it's just teleporting you around, 
Uh, but it is, it does work fairly well. Uh, there's no, or I haven't experienced any lag associated with them, even if you place down a lot of them because they are just, you know, how they work and they're pretty cool. So that is the uh, blocks. You can see also there's a button over here on the actual contraption to turn it off. And you can see that it just turns off. And you turn it back on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off. Pretty cool, right? So that is the conveyor command block creation. Only one command by Mr. Moose. And we can just uh, hit that. And there we go. And that's, that's the end of that. So, the next command, pretty much the same thing. Head on down, go and grab the grave command down in the description. You can place a command block. You're going to do the exact same thing. Uh, I just have to pull it up. Let me go commands, do to do, and you're gonna grab the gravestone command. You're just gonna go and you're gonna copy the entire thing and copy it, and we're gonna paste it in here, and we're just gonna say always active done. Okay, yeah. So this this did something that I was talking about before. Uh, remember, I said sometimes it places a weird a weird um, character at the very start of the command. It did that, so we're just gonna go all the way back. Do do do, do do do, what do do do, and are we almost there? Yeah, there we go. So it places this little thing there. So we can just delete that. Do it, and always active. Are you gonna work? Yes, no, maybe. Unknown command. Okay, let's just try. Need re needs redstone. Let's just try again. Um, button. There we go. Okay, so now you have yourself a grave command block thing. So if we just do how it works, uh, we can see graves will spawn at your death. Graves will not set your spawn. They will keep all your items from ever despawning. Um, do, do, do. If you die and you find yourself in your grave, you simply walk on top of the grave and sneak, and the grave will be removed and you will get your items back. So, for example, if we just head on over... Head on over here, and let me just do a game mode one, or no, zero, game mode zero. This guy should attack me, right? You attack me? Do you attack people? Are you, are you going to do damage to me? You know what, maybe this will, there we go. Oh crap, I have to remember where I where I died. I think it was over here, yeah? Yeah, okay. Where did I die? See, there we go. There's a grave right there. So all we have to do... Oh, I, I walked close enough to it while sneaking. You saw it was broken, and all my items were returned. Pretty darn cool. So let's just uh, try that one again. Let's just set spawn... Set world spawn, there we go. Let's do that. Um, so let's just grab a bunch of random items and throw them in my throw them in my inventory. A bunch of fences, I guess, apparently. And I'll just grab some random things and throw them in my inventory and some more random things and throw them in my inventory. And just some other random things. Okay. So now we got a bunch of random things, and I'm just going to do another slash kill. That's a nice book. Kill. There we go. All my items drop. And you saw they were put into that grave right there. And if we head over there, we can see that the grave is back. So all we have to do is walk over to it, shift, and there we go. All of our stuff is back. That is pretty cool. So that's all I got for you guys this time. Uh, two pretty cool commands, both by Mr. Moose. Go check them out again in the link in the description. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. And if you really enjoyed, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss future uploads. And guys, make sure you hit the bell and become a part of the notification squad. Verb 7001 signing off. See you guys in the next video.